Okay, we all remember when our moms would tell us to sit up straight. I can still hear mine saying that. Now, your spine is supposed to be a straight line with just a slight natural curve, but when that spine curves too much, it can be a sign of a condition called scoliosis. Dr. John Kempinen is an, a pediatric orthopedic surgeon with Spectrum Health Medical Group at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. And uh, you have a very special interest in scoliosis. Why don't you start off by explaining to us what exactly is scoliosis? So scoliosis is a curvature of the spine when you're looking straight at the front or the back of a patient. Um, it uh, most commonly happens in children at about the time they hit puberty when they go through that fast growth spurt right before puberty. More girls than boys, right? Uh, actually, it affects girls and boys equally, but girls are eight times more likely to have scoliosis that requires treatment. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. So um, we're looking at an x-ray, a picture here. Why don't you describe to us exactly what we're seeing here? So yeah, this is an x-ray looking at a patient's back. You can see her spine right in the middle of the picture there with the curvature to the right side. Um, and uh, this is the most common type of curve that we see in uh, young teenage girls. And you can see the curve cause, causing a bit of a shift to the right of her chest. And her head is actually tilted a little bit to the left relative to her pelvis. This looks really extreme. Are there symptoms that you might be able to detect in, in a child that would present like that? So yeah, often scoliosis is, is asymptomatic, meaning patients don't notice anything at all. Um, the, most commonly the most common way that we diagnose scoliosis is on physical exam with a pediatrician, and then it's confirmed with an x-ray. But sometimes patients or parents will notice that they have um, a little bit of a shift or a tilt to their head. Sometimes they'll notice one shoulder that's higher than the other, or one hip may feel a little higher than the other. Would you start getting, would your child start complaining of things like, I've got a neck pain, a back pain, those sorts of things, or does it not present like that? Uh, Back pain is common in scoliosis, but it doesn't happen in everyone with okay. scoliosis. Interesting. And oftentimes scoliosis is diagnosed as part of a workup for uh, aches and pains in the back. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Would that be also something that maybe during a typical um, annual physical exam that your child would have the yeah. pediatrician would spot for that? So that's, that's the most common way that scoliosis is diagnosed is on the routine uh, physical exam at mm -hmm. the pediatrician's office which is another benefit to making sure that you have that physical exam done every year at the pediatrician's office yeah. because you're telling me that um, the treatment options for scoliosis really start minimally invasive and then work their way up. Yes, absolutely. It's always better to catch the scoliosis early when children have some growth left um, so that we can treat it. So the, the treatment options uh, for small curves oftentimes start out with simple observation with physical exam or x-rays. In larger curves, especially in kids with have, that have a lot of growth left, we can treat them with braces um, that they wear during the day or at night. Uh, and sometimes in very young children, we can actually do a, a series of casts or repeat castings to help uh, treat the scoliosis as they grow. And then it's not until the curves become very severe that we start considering surgical intervention, which involves placing rods and screws in the spine to straighten it and prevent it from progressing through life. Do you have any idea at all what causes this? You know, unfortunately, we don't have a great explanation for what causes the most common type of scoliosis, which is idiopathic scoliosis. It simply means that we still don't know the cause of it. Hereditary family factors, any of those sorts of things the, play into There's the certainly a genetic or hereditary component, but it's not uh, a, a classic uh, inherited disease. And so it probably, there is probably a genetic susceptibility to it that then environmental factors um, then contribute to the, to the cause of the scoliosis. And so we know at Helm DeVos Children's Hospital, you guys are the experts in treating all ages and uh, of kids from teeny tiny newborns all the way up to those adult size adolescents. So yeah. if someone's interested in getting in touch with you, how would they contact you? Yeah, so one of the easiest ways to get in touch with us is through their pediatrician. We can all, you can also call our office with the number shown here on the screen and then our website at HelenDevosChildrens.org uh, uh, slash orthopedics. Fantastic, thanks Dr. Kevin. And well, thank great you information. for having me. Stay right there, more of 8 West when we come back. This is 8 West.